What's up? It's Jason with this show is the Disaster Podcast. We're back after a couple, a week off or so, and today I'm going to talk about uniforms. And this came up on a uh, group I'm in, emergency management group that I'm in, and I thought it was timely, especially with coronavirus, on uniforms and what's going on in in the emergency management sector. Uh, the question was, how many of you emergency management directors wear a uniform? If it's a polo, or do you have a badge, or BDUs? And what is your entity? So, and I'm former military, so I'm used to uniforms, and I like uniforms. And I will say I'm an advocate for uniforms, but if you look at why you have to wear a uniform, you know, what is the function of it? You know, why would, why would we as emergency preparedness staff members have to wear a uniform? Obviously, if you're listening to this and you're a police fire, you're going to wear a uniform, right? Um, you know, what do we need to accomplish with that uniform? Uh, I know here in Texas, a lot of the emergency managers that are state-driven, they wear uh, uh, tan tactical pants with a black shirt, usually a polo or a um, kind of like a tactical 511 type shirt. <clears throat> type shirt, um, and then they'll have like the logo emb- embroidered on it. And uh, I noticed recently they're carrying little metal badges on their waistband, usually. And uh, even our the chief of Emergency management for the state. You see him on TV now with uh, his badge on his on his waist or on his shirt. Um, you know. So what is the function of that? And that's to identify people, right? Especially if you're going out into the field. Now, if you're a office warrior and you're just in your office all the time, you're not going to go in the field. You may not need a uniform. Uh, you know, the functionality of these uniforms is is really the wearability, which is the next thing. You know. Um, what they're going to have on the uniform, like I mentioned, is it going to be a logo or a badge or, um, you know, does it need to hold up to things? I know as an emergency manager, you're going to carry a lot of pens and, and, and things like that where you need to have pockets. And so a lot of these people wear these tactical pants with several pockets on them so you can carry uh, different kind of gadgets and, and tools you might need for your everyday work, especially if you're out in the field, you may need, you know, phone chargers pens, pencils, radios, uh, all that kind of stuff. So that's where these uniforms come in handy. And uh, especially tactical pants and tactical shirts seem to, uh, not seem to be, tend to be a little bit more comfortable, especially if you're doing a 12-hour shift in a uh, dispatch or um, an EOC, you want to be comfortable. Um, So going back to the original post, uh, some of the answers were that uh, they have job shirts and they're, and, uh, the job shirts are required uh, with business casual. Uh, then they go on to, you know, uniforms can be uh, authoritative and that can make people think that you have some kind of authority you don't to, that you don't have. Uh, then getting into some of the other ones, you know, some of them have class A and B. Uh, I think that's more with the people that are part of a fire department or a police department. You're just going to wear your fire or police uniform. So. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of these I see you can opt out for business casual, which is uh, tends to be the, the trend with emergency management. Usually, it's business business casual, and maybe a, and all you have an I, as an ID that you hang around your neck, and and that's your uniform. So, so that kind of goes into the next point is image. You know, what image do your uniforms convey? And uh, you know, are they tough? Are they ready for work? Uh, are they military style? Uh, you know, you want to make sure that that's the message you're conveying. So it's going to depend on your organization. If you work for a university and you're emergency management for a university, you're probably going to wear business casual with a lanyard around your neck and an ID badge. And once again, if you're part of a police or fire department, you're probably going to wear whatever the uniform is they wear. And then if you're in a city, it could be uh, any uh, any of those above. And then county, usually you're going to have uh, some kind of tactical type looking uniform uh, that, that I mentioned earlier. And it all comes down to the wearability and what's more comfortable for your organization and what's going to meet the image that you want to to uh, present and and really your stakeholders because uh, you don't want you know to be an emergency manager for a corporate agency running around in tactical pants and a, a tactical shirt so but that's all on uniforms today and if you're interested in uniforms you can go to my website jasonmclaren.com if you just want a casual t-shirt for emergency management, I have that on my site. You can check it out there and uh, pick you up one for a couple bucks. So that's all for today. Jason McLaren signing off.